hi in today's video we are going to create a few pages uh, in a magazine so without further ado let's step into it so right now what we are going to do we have uh, uh, a type document in which we are going to really you know that contains the text you know here are uh, what we are laying so far so this is the content so what we're going to do right now is to copy the whole test right now so let's copy that let's copy the whole test so let's copy ctrl z then you go over to our correct draw So then you select your test uh, to then you arrange your test to then you control V on your keyboard to paste. So <coughs> this is it. So this is what we are laying so far. So uh, the headline is uh, entrepreneurship and uh, as a catalyst for economic development. So this is the intro so what we are going to do right now is to uh, you know source for image to uh, use so there is pre downloaded image in which I have downloaded so that we are going to use for the uh, lay layouts so let me look for you know an image to use So I am sourcing for the image to use. So let's make use of this. Let's drag it to the page. Good. So right now we are going to do So it's going to be spread across, uh, <coughs> you know. So right now we are going to double click on this page, on this uh, rectangular tool, automatically tap into page. Then let's, you know, shift this aside. Then let's make a copy of that to the other side. That will group it. Good. So of course it's going to be a spread, uh, what's it called? layouts so what we're going to do right now let's make a copy of this you know heading and uh, let's make a copy of that let's cut it off ctrl x then you go back to the page and paste so right now what we are going to do now is to back clip this image go over and bitmap it first come back to bitmap it's okay so right now we are going to power clip this into place power clip so smart can snap into bed then you hold alt key on keyboard select the email release alt key then you adjust you know picture just like so good drag it to the other side just like so so right now we are going to bring the test into page so right now let's change the font let's use a you know swiss good so we're gonna create a kicker for it you know entrepreneurship make a copy of that delete this then you create a bar right there so let's give it color sample the color from this mass and then you paste right there so control page down hold control and keyboard then you hit page down automatically snap down then you adjust just like so so select the entrepreneur which is the kicker that we are creating so make it bolder a bit then 
go over uh, to this you know uh, headline so right now we are going to uh, arrange this enter from here entrepreneur as a catalyst for economy enter from here enter from here then you go over uh, to uh, this place to choose left alignment and uh, make it bigger use your what's it called shape to it on shape to then you adjust just like so good so make it bolder adjust this up a bit good so bring this down So good one. So right now the next step is to bring in the intro. So we are going to call the intro. Cut that. Control X to uh, cut off from there. Then you just adjust this. You know, range your test just like this. Then you copy paste right inside the uh, margin so right now what you're gonna do is to go over and change this font to Futura T so then we'll bold in the headline good can you see that so let's adjust the test a bit so let's make it 12 or 11 11 it's okay then you adjust that good one so let's adjust the font a bit it on shape to then you close the tracking just like so good then you pull this up a bit good so make that a little bit no uh white then you enter from here good So let's put our margin right from here you know pull her ruler to the top of the uh, intro just like so then you go over to bring in the rest of the test to lay so right now in this case we are going to drag the whole thing right inside so we are going to make it a column you know all through the pages so right now you drag then you adjust this a bit so change the font size to uh, 11 then you change the font type to uh, Futura T so you can decide to change your own uh, font size the way you like and the font you know uh, type uh, the one you truly think could uh, be <coughs> good so right now what we're going to do is to uh, bold in the heading, bold that, then make adjustment of that, then you <coughs> so what you're going to do right now, you can see this indication right here, that shows that there is something, you know, uh, beneath uh, this uh, arrow right here you can you see we still have more information if you uh, sense that there's uh, one arrow showing you from here if you signal this arrow right here that means you still have you, you still have uh, uh, some tests you know hidden you know so what to do is to just click on this arrow then you get to the next you know uh, available space then you drag so the rest of the artists that uh, the test will show up you know so right now go over uh, to the next page then you pull it down so the rest of the test will show up go back again to click this arrow then you drag 
the next page just like this you know some of the tests show up too so let's range it you know with the other one then you pull you know closer just like so good then <coughs> shift it to the other side then you pull shift on your keyboard select the other one then and et automatically it range to the top of the other one so right now same process drag then you center it within you know that you pull it just like so to range with the other one the center you know uh, <coughs> top alignment so right now the next step right now is to just you know I think the three row is okay let's adjust that good so the next step right now is to step on to the uh, next page which is, which is the third page so right now we are going to make a copy of this make a copy of this you know to the other side then you delete this good good then you extract the contents delete so right now right click then you locate you know a frame type then you hit on remove frame type frame so automatically that it disappear that so so it's on this arrow again then you drag it on available space automatically the rest of the test show up again then you adjust just like so good so right now click on that range then align with the other one then you pull out and you range to the top of that good so right now the next step is to go by again range it just starts then you pull closer then you pull out hold shift key and keyboard select the other one and ET for top alignment good so right now adjust the three select the three test uh, row then pull in just like so good good we are getting there so pull this down a bit So what you need to do is to bold in each heading. So let's bold this. Bold. Good. So right now we have come to the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button in case i have something you know as special and uh, you know by the time it drops so that you'll be uh, prompted that something has been dropped in my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing so far so thanks for following me bye for now